Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana Anissa. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you click off of this video. If you are a returning subscriber, what is up? You already know what time it is. This is my favorite video to film every month because one, I get to put y'all on to my favorite products. And I could not wait to sit down and just talk about all the products I've been using on a daily basis, what I've been reaching for this month, what has really, really like changed up my makeup routine for the better. So we're gonna dive into everything, grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's get into the video. We're gonna start off with the eyes because I feel like this month I have gotten back into my creative eye looks and just doing whatever comes to mind and this look right here i use a blend bunnies palette i filmed it for my tiktok i didn't film it for youtube so i'm so sorry so if you want to see it i'm going to be posting that on tiktok soon or it should be up there now this month i have really really tapped into blend bunny cosmetics palettes these palettes are on another level let me just tell you they are so Good. So I initially started off with this one right here. This is the all done up palette. This is the first palette I picked up. I didn't know what palette I wanted to try, but for some reason my mind was like, get something that's so different and unique to your collection. And that was this one, the all done up palette. This is literally neutrals with a twist. The first time I used this palette, the mattes in here literally caught me off guard because they were so Good. Like there's not a lot of brands for eyeshadow formula that I put on the level of Beauty Bay or Glam Light, but this one, honey, this one is on that level. It is so good. I love that palette so much. I ended up picking up these other two palettes and I had been using this for literally all of the looks you've seen me, you know, in my recent videos, all of those colorful looks. It has been this palette right here from Blend Bunny. This is the Surge palette. This is such a unique rainbow palette to my collection. You have your pastels, you have your grungy tones, mid-tone shades, neons, you have the corresponding shimmers. I just love how Blend Bunny Cosmetics like lays out their palettes. They lay them out so beautifully and i am so obsessed with this it is just absolutely stunning like whenever i'm like okay i want to do purple i can just go in with this purple row and i'm good to go or if i want blue i just reach for this blue row it is just perfect and it's so great for beginners because you don't have to think about what look you want to do it's kind of just like right here for you the other palette that i had that i really was playing around with that i just felt like was so different to my collection as well was the dollhouse palette it is a cool tone palette but it is so different to anything that i do have in my collection I had to pick it up because I already love the formula from the, you know, the all done up palette that I just had to tap into this one. And that brings me to the obsession of Lynn Bunny Cosmetics because they had a sale randomly and I was like, let me go ahead and pick up these other two palettes. And I have all of them except for one, which I will get eventually. I'm not in a rush to get it, but I'll get it soon or whenever. But I really, really was so excited about this. This is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I picked up the Blends palette. You would think my first time trying Blend Bunny, I would go for their first palette, you know? But I didn't. Like this is the palette that everyone raved about. And let me just tell you, I used it today and it is phenomenal. The mattes are, so buttery, creamy, smooth, pigmented. They blend themselves. Like the hype on this brand is so real. So I totally get it. I totally understand it. This is an all matte palette, which I feel like is essentials. Like you need an all matte palette. I live for an all matte look. This palette really did blow me away. It has everything that I need. So I know for a fact that I'll be reaching for this palette a lot like i have just been obsessed with one bunny this month i don't know if you all remember me asking on the community tab who has the best multi-chrome shadows like i have been into multi-chromes lately i've been obsessed with them i don't own any and i was like every single one of you thank you for commenting your favorite brands multi-chromes because i went and i searched them all up i have a list that i want to try but i did not realize how expensive multi-chromes were like they're like 20 dollars a shadow like that's expensive so i saw blend bunny was having the sale and i saw she had a multi-chrome palette which is so expensive but i got that i got the discount on it which brought it down even cheaper but i bought the trove palette it is a four pan multi-chrome quad palette which i feel like is great because it's in a palette and I could just have it but I 
love these. They are so buttery, smooth, and soft. I haven't put these on the eyes yet, but I am just so excited and I cannot wait to dive into these. My obsession this month has been Blend Bunny and I had to share it in this video, I just had to. I have two other products that have really become game changers for my makeup looks. They are truly staples at this point for me. And the first one is the Made by Mitchell color case. This is the Electrix color case. This is a multi-purpose cream palette. It is so good i have been using this for eyeliner for like cutting the crease and like i use it as a base sometimes i use it on its own because it dries down to a matte finish it is perfect okay this is absolutely perfect i love this you can get this on beauty bay they also have like a neutrals one but this is the one that i've been reaching for so much because i really have been diving into my colorful looks lately like i have been going ham with all of the color and i just absolutely love it but this is such a great palette. I feel like it's so easy to use. Another product that has really been a staple for me is the P. Louise Cut Crease Carver. This is amazing. But I just find that this is just so easy to use. And it's just right here and it's like easier. I don't know, I just find that it's easier. But I find that whenever I use this, my cut creases are so crisp and clean. They are so clean and I absolutely love it. When I don't use this, I can tell. I feel like they're just not as like crisp, you know, as it can be when I use this product. But this is a staple. If you love cut creases, get this. It is literally a game changer. It has been a game changer for me. So I highly, highly recommend the Cut Crease Carver. You know, all of these products I recommend. But you know, if you love cut creases like me, get the Cut Crease Carver. It's the best thing ever. Thank me later. <laughs> so that is really it for the eyes. Let's move on to complexion products. So I have been on the lookout for a really, really good moisturizer. And I found one that really is the best thing for me. It is from CoverGirl. It is the mattifying oil-free moisturizer. So my friend sent this over to me. I have been using this every day. Like I have been wanting a really, really good moisturizer, but the fact that this is mattifying and it's oil-free is perfect. It also has 24 hour hydration and cactus water, but it is literally the best thing ever because I, when I apply it, I do feel that hydration initially. My skin feels hydrated. It blends out smooth and then when it dries down it kind of dries down to a soft matte finish which if you have oily skin this will be your best friend this is such a good moisturizer i cannot recommend this enough if you have oily skin it is so good and i don't really use a lot of covergirl products a lot of things just really don't you know stand out to me but i honestly would not have tried this if my friend hadn't sent it to me but i'm so happy that i did because it is so good it really has changed the game for me when it comes to you know prep before my makeup so this is the moisturizer that i have been looking for for my oily skin it is the best thing ever sunscreen super goop sunscreen in the shade sunset it has spf 40 i love this so i got this during the sephora sale and i've been using it every day since this is honestly the best sunscreen i have ever used first of all it does not have like that intense sunscreeny smell it has a lit from within glow it doesn't give you like that tin can glow i do not like that glow it has spf 40 and it's also a more like skin tone shade that's closer to my skin tone so there's literally no white cast like it is everything that i could ever want in a sunscreen i know that elf duped this but elf doesn't have skin tony shades they only have like that one shade and I do like that sunscreen but I like this one so much more okay this one is like my dream sunscreen it's the best one so I had to rave about this because if you are looking for a good sunscreen check out super goop they have a ton of different shades to choose from I do want to quickly talk about these two primers right here because I know a good primer when I try it and I've been trying this out since I got it I'm gonna be doing a speed review soon of all of the new makeup I've tried but I'm still playing around with some products more to like grasp my full you know thoughts on them but these two primers i can talk about now because these two primers do exactly what they say they're going to do the cali ray so blown 
primer one smells like a tropical vacation it smells like oranges which i love but it really does blur out the skin and i also feel like it's kind of hydrating as well i'm wearing this primer today it is such a good primer the hype on this is truly real i love a primer that immediately you can see what it says it's supposed to do so this is supposed to blur and that is exactly what i get this has become a favorite of mine i have a lot of blurring primers I love this one especially because it has like that hydrating feel to it as well now this one right here is really really good if you have oily skin this is a primer that I would only put in the areas that you get oily don't know what kind of magic is in this one size primer but there's some magic in here because I literally put this to the test every time I'm going out and girl, does this come through, okay? This comes through. If you ever get a chance, try this. I know that there's some people that says this peels, but that is if you put too much product, like you literally only need the tiniest amount. I use it in the T-zone, so I only need the smallest amount. This will last you a literal life time two primers have truly become favorites of mine. They are really, really good, and I've been reaching for this combo every day since I've tried it. I have to talk about those really quickly because I already know that those are literally favorites and I'm gonna be raving about them for a while. Now let's get into some blushes that I have been absolutely living for. The first blush are the House Lab blushes. These have a hold on me and I feel like they will forever have a hold on me because they are so good. Now, I feel like I've been reaching for these blushes so much. Like I have really been getting my money's worth with these, like really. So these are amazing. They are a powder formula. They are talc free. They are so pigmented, but so blendable. They're like a creamy powder. I say that every time, but I'm not kidding. When I tell you they are so creamy to say that it's a powder. I am wearing Dragon Fruit Days on top of another blush I'm gonna talk about, but it's so pretty. This blush, if you wear it on its own, you have to build it up a couple of times, but I like to use this on top of other pink blushes. And it's such a really pretty like flush of color as well. I also have the shade Watermelon Bliss, which is personally my favorite shade out of all of them. The other blushes I have been absolutely obsessed with are the P. Louise Liquid Blushes. These right here are so amazing, especially for every day. Go on really intense, but when you blend it out, they just melt into the skin. When I say melt, they literally melt into the skin. I actually just got this shade this week. This is the shade Pink Party. It's one of their newer shades. This is what I'm wearing under the house labs blush and it is such a beautiful beautiful shade of pink i truly think that this one is my favorite one out of all of them it is so gorgeous if you haven't tried this formula definitely pick it up next time you shop p louise cannot wait to see what other shades she comes out with because these are such a beautiful formula and I really love them. Now the last blush that I've been loving is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Liquid Blushes. Oh my oh God, these are so good. So initially I was really intrigued to see what this formula would be like. So I started off with the red shade and I tried it for the first time and I fell in love with it. So I went and ordered another one <laughs> in the pink shade, but this is beautiful. This is a very pigmented blush, but it's not as pigmented as say the Juvia's Place blushes. This dries down to like a soft matte finish. It looks really beautiful on the skin. These are amazing, amazing. If you go on Ulta, definitely swatch them, play around with them. I know a lot of Ulta's that have Jaclyn have these in stores, but the formula on these is absolutely beautiful. I also love the fact that that is a blush where I don't have to use another blush with it. It stands alone on its own and I really, really love that in a blush. So those are the three blushes I have really been diving into this month. I am obsessed with them and I highly recommend all of them. All right, let's talk setting powders really quickly. The Dominique Cosmetics setting powders are phenomenal. They are a beautiful blurring powder. I am wearing the pink one today. The pink one adds a little bit of brightness to the under eyes, which I really love. I know this is one of those formulas where I will repurchase whenever I run out because they are really good. This is the only setting powder powder that I have literally been reaching for. So that says a lot and I have all three shades. So I, I really love them and they are talc free too. So if you are into talc free powder, definitely check out the Dominique Cosmetics, but it is just so beautiful. Like I can't, like this is in my everyday makeup drawer. You know when something makes it to the everyday makeup drawer, it's a favorite. Let's talk fragrance because I do have a fragrance that has been my literal obsession and I'm like so, I'm like, 
kind of mad at myself because I kind of made a dent in it already and I just got this during the Sephora sale so yeah but it is the clean reserve sparkling sugar fragrance this smells so good it smells fresh but it smells like melted sugar it smells really really good it is a fresh gourmand scent but when I tell you I spray this on every single day but I literally like drench myself in this fragrance it's not cool that i be doing it but i love it so much it's like i just want it i just want to bathe in this scent that's how much i love it that's how much i spray which i gotta chill i got to chill I'm, i gotta have a talk with myself because i'm like i've already made a dent and i know by the time the next sephora sale comes around i'm gonna have to repurchase this and this is not cheap so but i really love this it smells it smells so good it smells so good i want to talk about the nyx lip oils really quickly because these right here are awesome like i love the nyx lip oils they really are comparable to high-end lip oils they are so good i'm so happy that nyx came out with these because they are really killing it like nyx is coming out with some bangers okay the drugstore is really killing it and i feel like these lip oils are really really a game changer like i reach for these lip oils constantly the clear one stays in my purse if you haven't tried these check them out at ulta they're like nine dollars but uh i'm telling you once you get one you're gonna want more like i have five i have five yeah i have five but i really really love them like i'm constantly reaching for these i don't know what it is but i feel like lip oils these days i've really been reaching for more than gloss because they're like a comfortable hybrid you get like the benefits of the lip oil but the shine of a gloss and i also love that these smell like candy so that's also a plus for me. We're getting into the last couple of products. The next favorite I have to talk about are my Gel X nails. Your girl is a Gel X nail kind of girl. Your girl do her own nails, y'all. She do her own nails. So anytime in recent videos you saw my nails done, that was me. I did them myself. I don't have them on right now just because every Sunday I do my nails. And I just find that it's so therapeutic. But I'm about to put y'all on. So get your pen and paper ready because if you want to save money instead of going to the nail salon like your girl i would spend so much money but like my reasoning for that is that my nail tech charge a flat price whether you wanted something extremely basic or something with a design and sometimes i just wanted something very simple but i felt like that very simple design wasn't worth that flat expensive rate you get what i'm saying i don't know if that makes sense but i was like well Sometimes I just want something simple, you know? And I was like, let me learn how to do my own nails because I feel like I'll save a lot of money. And I do. So I've been investing in like nail stuff and I'm just like really, I'm, I'm, in, I'm into it. I'm into doing my own nails. I love the almond shape. So I have like all of my almond shape tips here. They're the full nail. They're not like something you cut. They're not like the tips that you cut. They're the full nail and you use the Gelex kit. So. I'm gonna link everything down below. I got it from Amazon. It's the best thing ever. So it, the kit comes with the nail glue, which is a, you have to use the LED light, but the kit comes with a little LED light you put your finger under. It comes with nails. Doesn't come with this particular thing. It comes with nails and like Ziploc bags, <laughs> but a re, the refills come in this cute little container like this. And I love this cause it's like organized and neat, but I love it. And then you can use gel polish, regular polish. It's the best thing ever. They last me for about two weeks. Um, but like I even bought like the gel art nail polish. Like you get like your little, this right here is hard to take out, but like I have all of these different colors of like the, you know, the little design polish, gel polish type, you know, design little color. So I love doing my own nails. It's really, really therapeutic to me. And your girl is a gel X nail kind of girl. She don't, y'all, I do my own nails now. Like I am so happy about that because good for me, cause I'm kind of like practicing too. So I'll find a picture and I'm learning how to do designs myself. Sooner or later, I'm gonna be a pro with the designs, but like so far I'm like really satisfied <laughs> with what I'm doing, but I don't think I'll ever be going back to the nail shop to get my nails done, if I'm being honest, because 
I love my gel legs nails. They're the best thing ever. Last two products, they kind of go hand in hand, but they are these headbands from Amazon. So this one is more so for when I'm doing my makeup or skincare. I'm sure you guys have seen these all over, but like it's so expensive getting them in like Ulta or even TJ Maxx. But like you get like a pack of 12 for like $8 on Amazon and you just put on your little headband and you do your little makeup, skincare. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I have... <laughs> I have a whole pack right here from Amazon of different colors, but they are amazing. I love to use it to just push the hair out the face and I'm good to go. Now these right here are more so like fashionable ones. These come in like, I got a pack of 15 for like $12. So many different colors, but they're like a headband like this. And I really, really love, okay, that doesn't do it justice, but you guys have seen me wear these in my videos, but I just love putting this on, curling the hair, and I'm good to go. So I really, really love these. I feel like Amazon has been my best friend lately. I even just got like these like LED lights all in the room, like your girl has been living on Amazon lately. So I guess you could say Amazon's a favorite. This video is not sponsored, but I am, I'm happy with my favorites this month. I cannot wait to sit down and talk to you guys about all of my favorites, but let me know your thoughts down below and I will definitely catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Uh -huh.